Sleeping lions? Yes! The reason you're all here is for an adult version of Sleeping Lions. What would you say to purchasing some brand new CCTV equipment? John tells me that his sleeping ideas have really paid off and he wants to run another game, this time with more people and a bigger prize. to the first official Sleeping Lions contest in aid of Africa Aid. Remember, you can join in with the hashtag, though do so now or you will get disqualified during the event. Okay, suggested tweets are something like, um, Africa Aid is the most fun charity in the world, or something like that. Um, okay, good luck everyone. I don't need luck, I got my noggin. <laughs> <laughs> the lions sleep tonight. Ah. Ooh, ah. You're out of here. What? <laughs> yeah, rules are rules. <laughs> God. Another waste of charity resources. Oh, come on, Miss Crane. We're in the middle of doing good here. Oh, oh sorry. Only. It looked to me like you were just wasting everyone's time. But don't mind me. I have an associate coming down to see for themselves how bad Africa aid is. Um, Miss Crane, I agree with you, you know, Africa aid is really bad at the moment, but, you know, hopefully this will help us all have some fun instead. OK, that's really missed the point. It's about making um, the charity a success, isn't it, Mr Davis? Oh, hi, Stephen. Hi. What's that? Oh, uh, I'm monitoring all the lions on my CCTV. High definition. Yep, and uh, motion activated, night vision, received pronunciation, everything. Very interesting. Be good to monitor uh, anyone using their lawn mowers near my house. I, I think that's one of the sales points, actually. Let me just check the materials. Claire! Oh, Mike, sorry. Oh, she's just in the middle of a sleeping lines of her. Stand up, Claire. We need to talk. Fine. If you won't stop playing your stupid game for your stupid charity, you can just listen to me in front of everyone. My lifeguard friend tells me you've been snooping around, trying to see if I'm having an affair. Well, I'm not. I just go swimming so I don't have to come home. Just anything to avoid the truth. That you stop loving me. And you're so self-obsessed, you think that happened after we stopped making love. You can't have sex with someone who doesn't love you. You can. Someone who can't stand to be around me. Hey, couldn't cut it either, right? Eh? Tough game. Okay. Taking it very seriously. <laughs> you are out of here! Get up! You're out! Yeah, I'm just going to go and meet up with the... Oh, God! They've all been gassed! They're just like... Yeah, I, I didn't... Ah! OK, I think I've smoothed it all over. You OK, Stephen? Yeah, um, it keeps saying that I'm logged in on another system. But it must just be a bug. Computer bug. <laughs> Who are you going to call? OK, well, I've just got off the phone to the newspaper. Um, I went with the angle that we were trying to highlight the issue of mass graves in Africa and how we accept the imagery if it's in Africa, but, you know, if you see it in a rich western area, it's truly shocking, blah, blah. And how we use the flash mob to bring serious issues to the forefront of uh, everyone's mind. So, uh, with a bit of luck... Don't need luck. We've got my noggin. That's not your catchphrase. It's just something I said. That's your catchphrase. I don't want a catchphrase. <laughs> Tough. Comes with the job. We've all got on. Uh, Claire's is, um, um... Why are the pan au chocolat in a bucket? And what a lovely catchphrase it is. Never has and never will be more relevant. Do you think I can use this laptop to order pan au chocolat? 
Uh, or, imagine this, to do a new website for the charity with, with photos from the event uh, and that testimonial from Mr Davis. I guess it's not the worst charity in the world. Mm. With a bit of luck and John's noggin, we'll be able to ride the positivity of the event before it all went wrong and push forward as the most sensitive but fun-loving charity around. Stephen. Yes? What are you doing tonight? Oh, um, well, if this was a normal day, I'd say you and then ready myself for an insult. But mm. um, this evening, I'm actually finalising the contracts for Miss Crane's new CCTV system. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Uh, Dana? Oh, um, well, I've, oh. um... I'm not trying to sleep with either of you. Can I just... I was just trying to do something fun. Jeez. You take everything so seriously. No, I don't. Um... <laughs> uh... Is this too serious for you? <laughs> no, that's not, that's I mean, not serious at all. <laughs> it's a shambles. It's an, it's an embarrassment. And this is happening in charities up and down the country. And I cannot, in all honesty, agree to any charitable funding. Our company is above it. Yes, I'm inclined to agree with you. Uh, Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Just having a dance, John. Like, <laughs> That's my lawnmower. That's it. There. <sighs> okay. All right, lawnmower lady. You don't actually call me that, do you? Well. It's not a catchphrase or anything. It's just that you do go on and on and on about it. Don't. Ooh, is that the pan au chocolat challenge? I would love to try that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Are we okay? I'm sorry. I'm pain of chocolate. <laughs> I like flash mobs. Really? You? Yes. I did one the other day. Started dancing in the supermarket. <laughs>